Hello everyone, I'm very pleased to be sharing today my experiences in finding opportunities for libraries to partner with researchers. My name is Felicity Behrens and I'm an outreach librarian at the University of Queensland. At UQ Library, we have recognised the need for our librarians to use their skill sets in new ways and in partnership with others to make a greater strategic contribution to the university. Partnering is visible in strategic plans at all levels of the university, especially in research. Finding ways to become a true partner in the research space can be a difficult ask when researchers past interactions with the library have focused on the services we provide. Moving from someone who helps me with my work to someone I seek to work with is a mental shift for both librarians and researchers. The out outreach librarian role was specifically developed to provide more scope to explore partnerships and opportunities to collaborate. I want to share one success story that demonstrates this mind shift in action. As outreach librarian, I'm acquainted with a researcher involved in a project funded by the Australian Research Data Commons to build the Language Data Commons of Australia, LDACA a portal for discovery and access to nationally significant language data sets and collections. Early this year, I was reading a blog post that described their project work involving metadata schema and a light bulb flashed. Libraries are great at metadata. I wonder if there is any value we can add. I met with this researcher and discussed where the project might be interested in working with the library. The result is an opportunity to partner with LDACA on a proof of concept, ingesting Indigenous language data records from our institutional library systems into their portal. After obtaining approval from our library executive team, we initiated regular meetings. These meetings evolved over time with different library and LDACA team members invited as we needed their input. There has been involvement from across the library, including the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander Collections and Services team, the Discovery and Access Manager, the Institutional Repository Manager, and Senior Librarian for Special Collections within Fryer Library. Library team members have worked alongside LDACA team members on the technical requirements for ingesting data with success. Others have focused on ensuring Auslang and IATSIS codes are being utilised effectively and that Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander communities who engage with the portal will discover language data in a culturally safe way. We have enjoyed oversight throughout this process by a member of the library executive who ensures we keep a strategic focus and limit on our scope. We have also had interest in our work from the program manager for HASS and Indigenous Research Data Commons, who directs the program of work under which LDACA sits within ARDC. If funding and library staffing allows, there is future work that UQ Library would be keen to be involved in. How can we ensure community users not familiar with Auslang and controlled vocabularies are guided to relevant language data collections, no matter how they search? Decisions are still to be made around portal design and presentation that meet different users' needs. For example, design that accommodates the university-based linguist, as well as researchers accessing the portal from Indigenous knowledge centres in remote communities. And how do we give users the ability to enrich record descriptions or provide a right of reply? How does the holding library work with this additional metadata and incorporate it into library systems that use controlled vocabulary? This one partnership has resulted in further opportunities to connect. Participation directly resulted in an invitation for UHU Library to be a part of an ARC linkage grant application led by another institution. The ARC linkage grant application identified gaps in our knowledge, and so we connected with the research office at UQ to learn more. And lastly, team members from ARDC projects were invited to present to library staff to promote regular office hours they provide free to support researchers. Through this process, UQ Library is positioning ourselves to be key strategic partners and connectors in research support across UQ, moving from experts for hire towards trusted advisors. Thank you, and I look forward to your questions.